Hey, here we are in our dash cam series. I'm sitting here with Kevin Beesher next to Robert Crow, uh, both brokers here at Caldwell Banker. Uh, today I'm asking about new construction. Uh, Robert, I know you work for Hartford Homes, one of the leading mm -hmm. builders here in the area. Uh, could you just tell me, you've got about $400,000 as a buyer. How are you going to compare new builders? Well, first and foremost, you really want to come into a buying situation with a realtor. Most builders absolutely love having a buyer's agent involved. So don't feel like you have to walk through that, uh, through that door in that model show home without representation. Um, the builder pays the realtor, uh, so no pennies come out of your pocket. So secondly, use a realtor that has bought plenty of new construction and has taken classes either put on by the board of realtors or put on by private organizations that teach a realtor what to look for during the new construction build process. Could you talk a little bit about that process and why specifically it would be great to work with someone who's experienced with new build? You know, there are dozens and dozens of builders out there right now. Uh, some of these builders are large national builders. Um, some are local, smaller builders. Some are custom builders. Uh, and some are builders that frankly have just moved to town from Texas or Arizona because they've heard that real estate is, is booming. And you really want a realtor that knows the differences between these, these builders. Which builders really care about their reputation and frankly which builders are just looking to build a cheap home and doesn't care about their reputation because frankly, you know, cheap always sells. Sure. Uh, maybe tell me a little bit about some of the builders that have been around for Northern Colorado for a little while. Like, who's the established players in the area? You know, um, of the large uh, national builders, you've got builders like Richmond Homes. Uh, Ryland just got bought out by Cal Atlantic. You know, they're a good builder. Um, those are three of the, you know, again, very well-known national uh, construction companies. Um, you then have local builders like Hartford. Um, so I'm the preferred realtor for Hartford huge fan uh, they didn't seek me out I sought them out I have helped sell gosh nine or ten of their homes um, both when they were brand new out of the ground and resale as well and Hartford just they just care man they they build a quality product energy efficient hers rated uh, great local people that grew up <clears throat> excuse me in northern Colorado <coughs> Again, compared to some of these builders that have just jumped to town and, you know, you're like, who? Who are you? And there's a few horror stories because they don't know how to build properly in our soils. They don't have the trades, the relationships with the plumbers and carpenters that some of the local builders have had here for, uh, for decades. So is there other companies that Hartford competes against here in Northern Colorado? I mean, who are these other local builders or national builders that, that you're going head to head against with as far as bringing best markets to product, you or know, best product to market? That is a better conversation <laughs> <laughs> between me and, uh, and the buyers, because uh, frankly, I don't want to get sued. Uh, <laughs> but you know, that is a great conversation. Um, have that conversation with me, have it with your realtor, have them share the success stories as well as some of the horror stories. You know, there's a, a builder here locally where I heard the other day some buyers closed on their home, went on vacation, and I kid you not, they came back and there was a tree starting to grow out of the carpet in their living room. The house was in Windsor, Colorado. You know, uh, and again, when we chat, <laughs> I can tell you the full story behind that one. But it's really important to know who is building your home. And you know, while that home's being built, most builders will have three or four occasions for those buyers to walk through that property with the representative of the builder, the foreman, if you wish, mm -hmm. to, to walk through that house while it's under construction. And be wary of builders that don't give you that opportunity uh, because, frankly, they just don't want you to see their mistakes. So make sure your realtor, when they walk through that home, knows what to look for during that construction process. Well, well, thank you for asking some questions on the different builders. Uh, you know, one more question about 
you know, where is there any way to get a lot of information about builders or builders' history or finding out how many homes a builder has built even in the area? You know, I mean, there is because the internet's an amazing tool. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, I, I can't tell you how valuable it is to have a realtor that just knows these builders inside out, that has a relationship with the builder. Because what happens if the builder makes a mistake? What's your recourse as a buyer? You know, with these builders, typically when you put your earnest money down, you're signing uh, the builder's contract, not a Colorado real estate contract, but the builder's contract. And it is tough to get that money back. Hmm. And, you know, what if you come to buy that house and there's a problem? What do you do? Who's there to help? Well, your realtor is. And that's a whole nother conversation with regards to bringing in, um, you know, experts in, in building science to really, really support the concerns of, of the buyer. Hmm. So yeah, always call your realtor. Well, thanks for answering a couple of questions about new builds. Sounds like there's a lot more information out there and that really talking with your realtor and broker is the best bet to move forward as far as getting more information. Cool. Have thanks, a great Kevin. day. Cheers. Cheers. Bye guys.